Um, have we covered the heat uh, significantly well? Are I, we okay? I think you're good, man. Okay. So let's move to monsoon forecast. Let's do it. Because I don't like your forecast. I don't like it one bit. I don't, I'm not arguing with it. <laughs> it's it's prob- your, your reasoning is sound, but I don't like it. Yeah, not a lot of Tucson likes it at the same time, too. But you know? it's not terrible. It's no. The, the, your final number is not terrible. Well, and here's the thing. So everybody gets stuck on that final number. Right. But the, the gist of it is, what, what are we looking at? Above average, slightly above average, slightly right. below average. Right. I am leaning slightly below average. Um, number one, El Nino doesn't look like it's going to be a factor for the monsoon. That's so good. yay. That's good. That's in our favor. Yes. Also kind of working in our favor is the fact that probably a decent Eastern Pacific hurricane season, 40% chance of a near normal or above normal season. Also in our favor. And if El Nino does show up at the end of the monsoon, then we could increase that. We right? could increase the moisture to the south due to more storms. So, I like it. But again, it's right looking, now, El Nino is looking very, very, very iffy. is likely iffy. on the ropes. Okay. okay, so that's what's working in favor for above average rainfall for mm-hmm. the monsoon here mm-hmm. in Tucson. Mm-hmm. Here's what's working against it. We talked about this last year, uh, about the Arizona drought and how, strangely, the drought can dictate where that monsoon high ends up. Normally, we like it near the four corners. We get mm-hmm. that good southeasterly flow off, opening mm-hmm. up the pipeline to monsoon moisture. Mm-hmm. If the drought is right over southern Arizona, chances are what will happen, some research is suggesting that that high likes to kind of follow where the worst of the drought is. And we're in the worst of the drought right now. Uh, obviously, that high is directly over us at the moment. Right. We're feeling the squeeze. Right. So. Well, how far... But below normal rainfall are we right now year to date? Like we're over an inch and a half for I the think year. It's more than that, I think. I think it's an inch and a half. Okay, inch and a half. Okay, it's a little over yeah. an inch and a half. Okay, but so because we had a decent early winter rains, and so we and then we hit February, and then we hit February, kind of like last year, and then March got hot, and so we had some good growth, mm-hmm. and then now all of that growth is just tender. Basically spontaneously combusting at the yes. moment with the 20 plus wildfires right. burning across the state. Don't let your kids burn ants with their magnifying glass. They could start a forest fire. That's good advice. Yeah. That's a PSA you guys should be running. It should be. Oh, no. <laughs> As I make more work for Ray. Okay. So, <laughs> so the fact that the drought can dictate where the monsoon high ends up, it's not a hard and fast rule, but studies show that can happen. So, went a little deeper. Yep. As I always do for this forecast. Yes, you do. It's my eighth annual that I've done here. And yeah, I love it so much because you do have the guts to put a number on it. I'm not afraid. You're not. I'm not afraid You're to not put a number. You're not afraid to do that. If I'm within about a half an inch, I'm really happy. Sure. And I believe I was within a half an inch yes, last year. Yes, you were. Yeah. Even with the missing 1100s. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, so the other thing I'm looking at here is the Rocky snowpack. And there are mm-hmm. studies that show that if there's a lot of snow in the Colorado Rockies, it can slow the progression of that monsoon high from south to north. So that's why I'm leaning uh, toward a drier than normal monsoon, slightly drier. The number that I have is 5.63 inches, 5. but again, 6.08. averages 6.08. So slightly below. Also, what you're saying is because of the Colorado snowpack, is uh, Rocky Mountain high on the playlist? No. Oh, Ray. Okay. Right. Ray yeah. is pulling you know, his hair out. Just right decimating now. my playlist. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I, I was just asking. I don't, scoured the I internet for songs. I wasn't telling you to put it on there. I was just asking. His keyboard is smoking right now <laughs> oh, because yeah. he's furiously so, typing into Google Play all the music. So we've got the we've got the Rocky Mountain <laughs> High snowpack double double normal. Yeah, entering June. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. No, this is around what June eighth. June eighth, the map that I posted. Right. It was running over 200 percent above normal. Yeah. Wow. Which, That's a lot of. No. Yeah, well, I was just uh, over there, and the rivers are just flowing, man. In California. I bet that's just beautiful. Uh, yeah. It was nice. Anything is more beautiful than 115 degrees. <laughs> well, that's the other problem. real nice. This is the other, not, not problem with your forecast, but this is the other pr- problem I see with the forecast. Because mm-hmm. if, the, if the high pressure hangs around and shunts our moisture southward, it's also going to make us hotter. Yeah, case in point right now. So, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. All right. Well, but I, I feel let's like hope you're wrong. I feel like the odds are favoring a drier mm-hmm. monsoon. That's more likely than not. Yeah, okay. I really think an above average monsoon right. is unlikely. But you know what? It only takes one storm. It only, it takes, only takes one tropical it only system takes to one pop one up in system. September.